Welcome to Kalala. Kalala is one of the most beautiful and scenic villages on the west coast of Ireland. The perfect spot for a peaceful and tranquil getaway. What better place to experience this peace and tranquility than at the old Deanery Holiday Cottages? This family business has been established for over 20 years and was originally run by Mr. Joe Keane and his wife Betty Keane. And now it's been run by their daughter Elizabeth and her partner Tony. These eight award-winning self-catering homes are set in a cluster on the edge of the village. Each offers its own unique panoramic view of Killala Bay and Bartra Island. Each of the cottages offers two bedrooms downstairs, a double bedroom and a twin or a single bedroom and a dormer bedroom upstairs that fits three to four people sharing. The cottages can comfortably accommodate six to seven people and the larger of the cottages also has an ensuite upstairs. All the cottages are fully furnished and well equipped with mod cons. There are plenty of things to do and see in the village and the surrounding areas of Killala, including water sports, cycling and other outdoor pursuits. There are a number of historical and cultural places to visit also. The holiday cottages themselves sit in the shadow of Killala's famous round town. Falcherov, Cock, Higan, Balia, Arsa, Staru, Kordul, Kalala, Balia, Perth, Auli. Welcome to the historic, friendly, and uh, ancient town of Kalala, the ancient regal town of King Auli. Famed in song and story, and actually mentioned in James Joyce's Ulysses, Kalala is situated on a bay of the same name in the oldest inhabited part of Ireland. Dotted around the town of Killala and in the town itself are many historical monuments and ruins. Our round tower here in Killala was built sometime in the 10th century, probably after the main Viking raids had uh, finished. So this tower certainly would not have been used as a place of refuge, and I don't know if any of them were used as places of refuge. They were built, as I said, called clubchucks, which means a belfry, and they would have had a bell at the top and if you look at any of the round towers, we have four windows, north, south, east and west, so that the sound of the bells could be heard. Moyne Abbey, like a lot of the other abbeys, and certainly in this area, were built very close to the sea, and they were built for a specific reason. The monks had to eat, and in Moyne it is told that they had their own fishery where they farmed their own salmon and trout. They also had a bakery, they had an infirmary, and at one stage there were up to 50 monks uh, living in Moyne. It was told that when the monks came there first and they were looking for a spot to build the abbey that the friar walked onto the lands close by Moyne and that a little robin came, flew by him and skidded along the ground and the friar observed the little bird in this activity and mapped out the abbey on the exact route that the bird had taken on the ground. But it's not only history and heritage that makes Kalala interesting. This entire area is full of fantastic blue flag beaches, cliffs, actually cliffs which are reckoned to be higher than the cliffs of Mohor. So there's loads to do and loads to see in this area. I suppose as the captain of the Titanic should have said, that's just the tip of the iceberg and there's loads more to see around this area. 